What's up, guys? I'm playing on my US 5X no BP servers this weekend. So if you guys want to join me, it's wiping it tomorrow, Friday. And that's going to be around noon Eastern. So if you want to either counter, be a builder and make some bases, and I can try to hit them this weekend, please join me on my US 5X no BP servers. Anyways, on to the raids. What's up, guys? Back with some more raids today. And for the first raid of today's video, we're going to be hitting something partially armored. Now, trying to keep this raid cheap, only bringing it 16 C4, just so we can kind of try to maximize our profits. But here's a look at the base. Haven't laddered up to check out the top of it yet. Definitely want to do that. But we can see two armored double doors basically on each side of the base. Not sure if they're going to be entrances or what. Those armored walls should be pretty close to the core if we end up having to drill. Should be into something good there, but let's check out the top. Okay, actually open door here. And we do have a few hatches up here on the top. How tall was this thing? I think it's like, yeah, three stories tall. Hatch could be worth it. Let's go ahead and see where it leads. Just so we don't have to blast into armored doors or armored walls. And uh, what do you know, become straight up armored doors all around here. But another hatch. Let's check that. Okay, that's an open door. Let's see where this door leads. Kind of near the front, hoping that we hit another hatch. Yeah, there's a hatch and it's open. Let's go, OTK clan. Tell me those aren't the front doors of the base and we could have just taken that with 2C4. <laughs> Looks like this thing definitely turns into a bunker though. I mean, no doors leading inwards there on the first floor, which is right below us. I'll take having to kill sheet metal walls over armored though. Wonder if this could run around to a hatch, but let's stick with my gut here and let's go straight for this sheet wall. And in that box, just satchels and comps. Oh no, looks like we are gonna have to go through armored. We've kind of committed. We could check that thing for a hatch, but I'm pretty sure it's going to get sealed off based on how these guys have built up. Let's just send it on. I think we can do two more armored walls. Okay, and definitely some mistakes were made there. We should have gone through the ceiling as soon as we saw that, but here we are. We can do one more. Well, we better be into something. We've got armored doors, boxes, and more sleepers and TC. Let's go. We found it. So gonna get this thing sealed. Looks like they locked up all of their boxes too. Use some of the satchels. Okay. Let's see what the loot's looking like. We used a decent amount of C4 and rockets on this thing. Need to see some profit. And that's looking pretty good. Check out all that hexful ammo. Hoping that they have C4 rockets too. Yeah, let's go. 26 rockets almost pays for the raid. Still need to see a bit of sulfur in that TC to profit. And where's their comps box? But yeah, let's go. It does pay off 26k sulfur in the TC, 7k GP. I'm just wondering where these guys, where their comps box is. There could possibly be some more loot rooms around here. Considering we already found TC and a rockets crate, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that. Let's not eat into the profit since we 
barely skirted away with some with all that sulfur. But yeah, I'll move on to the next raid and I'll see you guys in a second. So it's been a minute since we've raided a base built on a rock like this. Now, sometimes I hit cliff bunker bases, but this is just a little bit different. Now, I'm assuming this is kind of just a watchtower and the main base is going to be somewhere in here on the first to third floors because that's where all the honeycomb is at. Also, it's pretty impossible to make this three by two safe up here on the top. I think it's just being used as a flanking tower, but we're going to ladder it and check it out. Obviously, watch for turrets already seeing two possibly yeah i think three at least turrets in here but we've got plenty to do this with hoping it's going to be enough let's give it a shot first thing we just have to ladder in this safely without getting destroyed by a turret now somebody already placed a ladder here maybe it's a good spot sounds like there's a turret right next to us though okay so there's definitely going to be a turret in this raised armored tc i believe it is and multiple turrets on the base so might be actually a little bit difficult let's try to get around and see where this turret's at oh my god dude bro Shot me through the floor. What is that? Okay, well, apparently these turrets can take you down straight through a freaking roof. So I'm going to try to take cover on this rock over here on the left. All right, we're on the first floor. We can dodge those turrets. Yeah, check out all this honeycombing, though. This thing is looking insane. Don't really want to drill here on the first I'm gonna go ahead and just go in here second floor near the center. Let's find the easiest pathway. I guess this would make sense. We'll just start going in and drilling down as soon as we can. I'm really not sure if 32 is gonna cut it for this one, but we'll see. Okay, at some point we're gonna have to start going down. Might as well do it here. And I see a light. That's a good sign. Let's follow towards that. And I believe we still have to go down one more floor. We're gonna need to bring back more C4 dudes. I can only do one more wall or few with rockets i guess we'll try rockets here just don't really want counters to have time to fly over here and counter me but we'll try to send off 17 rockets here and we'll keep going okay we've broken in we're getting closer to the light and now even closer can this be foundation yeah we're on foundation here we're gonna head this way Need to start seeing something here. Looks like we're right on the edge of it, man. 4C4 we'll use here and then we can use these rockets. Maybe we won't have to come back for more stuff. Okay, walls down. Can we get boxes? We do have boxes. We might have brought just enough C4 and rockets to do this thing. And he left a lantern on. And that's a TC, all right. It is locked. And we still do have privilege, so we'll get this thing sealed to get a TC down. Maybe pick up some of these boxes and start checking loot, expecting a jackpot from this one, guys. Not gonna lie. Let's hope for a jackpot here. We used so many rockets in C4 on this base, but we're about to find out. Start with these smaller boxes. Dude's got some paintings up too. Launcher, tons of AKs, looking good in the AK box. Let's go, dudes, what is that, bro? 60 supply signals. Now that alone, we could probably score a bunch of C4 and rockets off of. I'm gonna go ahead and check that TC. 
And that wasn't TC, but a bunch of HV rockets. I'm trying to get to that TC. Go ahead and pick these boxes up and scoot in through the top. So we saw the AKs, more AKs, LRs. Hoping there's sulfur in that TC. Vault is what the bag says, so that's something that you definitely want to see. Yo, let's go look at that comps box, guys. 500 tag trash, 131 targeting computers. What the heck? Who is this pop clan? Bro, absolutely loaded with the sulfur in the furnace. That's how much I was expecting from a TC or something, but it's got it sitting in the furnace. Oh my god. What the heck is this, dude? Stacking up the M2s there. And last but definitely not least here, TC. Let's go, guys. That's a jackpot. Nearly 100k sulfur, or pretty much exactly 100k sulfur, 27k GP, half a box of M2s. Not to mention we're gonna have to call in 60 supply signals at some point. Might save that for tomorrow. We'll take the 46k HQM out of there. And yeah, that's a juicy looking first inventory. So Pop Clan Calvin <laughs> going to be leaving with all of this loot on the first trip. Definitely coming back for the M2s. Let me just show you guys that again. Man, I think it's exactly 20 M2s plus the GLs. Let's go. All right, guys, so this will probably be the last raid of the video. Just trying to end on a successful raid is something easier than that last stressful, completely armored rock base. And we've just got a little two by two honeycombed with a sheet door. I just want to see if we can continue profiting even off of these smaller bases. So we're going to check the front door, see what that's going to lead to, and we'll go from there. Okay, looking good, another sheet door. We'll take that down. And just a straight pathway into here, hopefully. Okay. So far, so good. This should be some loot here. TC's probably around here and to the left. And yeah, that's probably TC. Let's check these crates, so. Empty, bro. Okay. 3K sulfur in there. But the rest of it's empty, not looking too good. We got TC, just gonna chuck a door up here and we'll start checking loot. Let's see if we can get anything from that TC. Maybe he was a farmer or something, you never know. Comps box is not looking good though. Yeah, so I mean, you can't profit off of all of them. Just wanted to make sure we got in one more successful raid. So I mean, three good raids today or two great raids today. But at least we did see the jackpot on the armored rock base with those turrets on it. Anyways, pretty good day overall. And I'll be seeing you guys in some more raids this week. Make sure to get subbed and wish me luck.